That's why something like this project for Alan Turing with Matthew and Kate has been so exceptional. But it's something like that that takes nearly seven hours to perform is more than just a piece of music. It's a matter of a genuine collaboration of minds, of spirits, of thinking about what music can be and what music can say and what music can communicate about people. And this tribute to him captures something of the life of Alan Turing. The music takes you into itself in this really, really stunning performance. Get behind whatever else Matthew and Kate have in store. For Alan Turing demonstrates his ability to project his musical thought convincingly across a massive canvas. He's also lucky to have found a sympathetic interpreter in Kate Ledger, whose musicality, stamina and vision are amply in evidence during her performance of his piece. The live stream performance of For Alan Turing was a momentous occasion and the music had a really big impact on myself and the others who watched it. And I really believe that um, Matthew's music and Kate's performance of Matthew's music um, deserve to be heard in high, high fidelity recordings. I want to hear it, but I also believe other people should hear it too. I've been listening to uh, Matthew's piano music over the past few days, and I'm struck by the sheer volume of it, the originality of a, a particularly strong musical mind and imagination. But the thing they all have in common is the uh, they're all filtered through Matthew's creative mind and I think that gives them all a very special character. For Matthew to have the opportunity to work with Kate to record a range of these pieces properly under professional conditions will be absolutely fantastic and not just for Matthew and, and for Kate but for us as well because it will make a true addition to the piano repertoire. And I think you can't go wrong with this music. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Please do uh, support this campaign however you can. What an extraordinary piece for Alan Turing is. Uh, and what an extraordinary performance it was. A piece like that is really hard for me to listen to normally. With this piece, that's different. After about half an hour, I thought how incredibly sad uh, it was. Then a few hours later, that sadness has established itself completely and is no longer sad. It's just established as something, as a sound, as the sound world. It's extraordinary. I just found it a really inspiring and moving experience. It's a wonderful bit of music in terms of um, the concept, but also the notes in it. Uh, a glorious and Kate's performance was as always uh, just really stupendous it's definitely my favorite uh, kind of live stream experience of the last year uh, so I have absolutely no doubt that their collaboration on a recorded album is going to be um, equally equally brilliant and beautiful it was so mesmerizing it was an incredible performance of some really wonderful music and I found myself, I was supposed to be working, um, just staying sucked in, but I kept coming back and back and back again to this incredible performance of Matthew's extraordinary music. They've clearly shown from that immense performance that, that you know, they can do wonderful things when they work together. And it would just be wonderful to hear this album of, of Matthew's music played by Kate. The music is as if you're sitting down idly and being lost in your thoughts, as, as, if, as if time is running slow and uh, you're drowning in thoughts of love and care for someone else. And Kate Ledger's performance really, really slowed down time for me, uh, in which intensified these these feelings. So I hope uh, you all enjoy uh, the, the love and care through Matthew's music. I have always been a fan of the epic compositional tasks that Matthew sets himself. Um, he pokes at the limits and tries to reach further and to engage with the organization of sound over a long duration. Um, you can change the perception 
of time itself and it's such an exciting thing to do. Um, you can work with structure, material, form in a completely different way and the piece becomes an adventure. Um, who needs a seven minute piece? We want seven hours. That's the way to go. <laughs> um, but you have to find the right kind of performer for, for this. And in this case, it's the brilliant Kate Ledger who plays this piece beautifully and um, with a lot of determination, but also a lot of sensitivity. Your performance, Kate, is so absolutely extraordinary. And Matthew, your piece just speaks so quietly but speaks so loudly about Turing. This is an extraordinary feat, a feat of composing and uh, Kate particularly, such a, a feat of performance. I felt like a different person when I came out at the end of it and I wish you all the best of luck with your crowdfunding. I think this is just an exceptional um, event that you're making together. I think that Matthew is an extremely compassionate composer um, whose work deeply reflects the things which he believes in. I think Matthew has a really unique way of seeing the world um, and a beautiful way of seeing the world. It, it really transports you to, to a different place. Kate's sensitive performance of the music, um, I thought that for, for Alan Turing was an extremely emotional, beautiful, beautiful piece, uh, which instilled in me a deep um, I don't know, it was, it was a time to reflect. I cannot recommend anything that Matthew does highly enough. <laughs> what can I say about this piece? I really love how it walks the line between a sort of minimalist sensibility and a more non-repeating, ever-evolving sort of sound world. It's really quite beautiful, it's very spacious, it's very expressive. Even the sheer length of the piece, it's huge, huge length. Uh, I find the extremity of that very expressive and very necessary to give the message that it needs to give. I'm really excited to hear about Kate and Matthew uh, recording an album together of Matthew's work. I've known Matthew since 2009 and I really admire his work. It continues to inspire me um, to this day. I don't know Kate personally, um, but I've been aware of her playing and uh, I think it's absolutely wonderful as well. So I'm not really excited um, for them to record this album. I really love watching the Four Alan Turing live stream. Uh, all in all, just like, they seem to work really well together, so why not make an album? It was amazing to see Kate's uh, playing and endurance over such a long period of time. Um, and just fantastic music from Matthew as well, which I'd already kind of heard in my head as I was copying out the piece, um, so it was just really nice to hear it live. An incredible achievement. Remarkable uh, performance by, uh, by Kate. Uh, just an incredible uh, achievement, incredible uh, task to play for that length of time to keep that level of concentration. And I think the, the piece itself is wonderful as well. It's, it's kind of like a, an insight into uh, Matthew's brilliant and confusing and bizarre and wonderful mind. So yeah, a really amazing thing.